Hi, I'm Kathy Duplantis. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all things Jesse Duplantis Ministries. God bless. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Duplantis here. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. You know, people really like this little five-minute segment. We enjoy it. We got something I believe you're going to enjoy today. First, I want to give you a scripture. It's Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Joshua don't know kind of what to do when he's crossing over that Jordan and there's a lot of opposition out there. And God tells him something. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. In other words, what God was saying, Joshua, pick it and stick. Pick and stick, man. I sent you here. You're going to get it done. What are you believing for? Stand on the word of God. Pick and stick. Here's another verse. I love this. It's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 37, the King James Version. But let your com uh, communication be yea, yea, and nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. In other words, pick and stick. If you're believing for the hundredfold, hundredfold pick it and stick it. Praise God. And don't let nobody sideline your faith. No, no. I like that pick and stick. I got that statement from my daughter, Jody. You know, she said, Dad, you, you just pray pick and stick. I said, I pick what I believe and I stick to it. Why? Because it's the word of the Lord God. That's faith in the facts. That actually will change the facts that you're looking at if they're bad facts. Maybe you're looking at stage four cancer. Oh, man. What are we going to do? You know what doctors are going to say? Well, that's all we can do. You only got so much time and that's the end of that. But if you pick the Word of God, you stick to the Word of God, by His stripes ye were healed. Pick and stick. Pick and stick. Pick and stick. Don't deny what the doctor said. Deny it's right. Do you understand? Okay, you're facing financial trouble. Going to lose your house. Maybe COVID wiped you out. I don't know, whatever. What are we going to do? Oh my God. Well, if you could pick that house one time, you can stick to that house all the time. Pick and stick. I like that. Pick and stick. Praise God. You're going to hear that all day long. Pick and stick. Pick and stick. Why? Because that's faith in the facts. Let me read. See, maybe you like Joshua. I got to read that again. Joshua's thinking, ooh, ooh, this is pretty big out here, Jesus. This is big. <laughs> you know, they got a lot of enemy out there, Lord. Have not I commanded thee? Can't you hear the power of God's voice? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Now, if God was with Joshua, why can't he be with you? He's no respect to person. Well, how do I know it's going to happen? Pick and stick. <laughs> Just pick it and stick to it. That's God's word. I'm starting to preach this thing, man. My Lord, when you understand that, see, that's faith in the facts. I made up my mind many, many years ago. Well, I'll just tell you, I've been preaching 45 years. Good Lord. I think I started when I was two. Now, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. No. Right, 45 years, been in full-time ministry, 43. I said this way back then. I'm not going to have a financial deficit. I heard everybody say, now, brother, just up. When you get ready for the ministry, get ready. You're going to have all this kind of stuff. And I thought about Jesus. That doesn't mean the devil didn't fight me. I said, but you know, I watched Jesus' life, and he didn't struggle financially. People said he was poor. How do you pay 12 full-time people on staff if you're poor? Some were married. How about 70 part-time? How do you take care of them if you're poor? See, that's a falsehood there. Let me tell you something. He became poor that through his, his poverty, you might become rich, but his poverty was, <laughs> was not poverty like they say it is. My God, when he wanted something to eat, he had it. He just did everything according to his father. He said, I only say what my father says. And I only do what my father says to do. I can translate that. Pick and stick. <laughs> That's exactly what God, Jesus did. I pick it, I stick to it. See what I'm saying? That's the word of the living God. You can tell I'm enjoying it. Jody, if you're watching today, uh, this is your daddy saying, thank you. I appreciate you saying that, my God. And this went off and taught me like a shotgun. She said, Dad, that's what you do. I said, well, I, I never use the word pick and stick, but I sure do like that. Pick it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just God's word. Think about that. So you may be going through tough times, but tough times don't last. Tough people do. Why do tough people make it? Pick and stick. 
They just say we will not give up and I'm believing you won't. Father, I set myself in agreement with everybody that's going to pick and stick today. You said two of us agree, I pick with them, I stick with them. We get together, we get this thing done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. Until next time, pick and stick. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.